In this video, we're comparing a $700 camera to a $4,400 camera. That's a $3,650 difference. A pretty expensive difference. With that big of a price difference, we're wondering if the image quality is that different. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today with the Sony a7S III versus the Sony ZV-1. You gotta just press record. Hey, it's Nolan Moult with Think Media where we bring you the best tips and tools for creating YouTube content. That being said, this comparison today truly is for the YouTube content creator. So if you wanna make YouTube videos and you're looking at buying the Sony ZV-1, maybe you're looking at spending a bunch of money and buying the Sony a7S III, well, this is the perfect video for you. Obviously, there's a lot of differences between these cameras. One has a really tiny battery and the other one can shoot 10-bit video recording. Now, without getting into the weeds, I really wanted to look at these two cameras side by side, focusing in on the image quality. I wanna find out for myself and if you guys can truly tell a difference between this expensive camera and this cheap camera. And I've been using the Sony a7S III for about six months now, creating these YouTube videos on this channel and that's what I'm using right now. Or is it? I'll tell you later. Okay, let me explain how this test is going to work. For each camera, I am going to use them the way that I personally would use them, and I think most people would use them as well. On the a7S III, I'm gonna use it to its full capabilities. I'm gonna use 10-bit color, 4K recording, and S-Log3. Now on the ZV-1, I'm gonna use this the way that I would shoot vlogs or YouTube videos just like this. I am not gonna be using S-Log on the ZV-1 because it's just way too noisy, and the 8-bit video really isn't made for S-Log, so it just does not look any good. Now, a lot of people would just shoot in the standard creative style. It looks pretty good. When you open it up out of the box, this is what it comes as and you can hit record and start recording just like that. But you can actually get more out of this camera. You can get a lot more dynamic range out of this camera by tweaking a few settings. For example, this was shot on the standard creative style with the default settings. And to me, it's just way too contrasty and a bit too sharp. So I'm going to make some tweaks. If you want to do this too, you can grab your camera. All you got to do is turn your contrast down to negative three put plus one on the saturation, and then the detail is gonna be at negative five. Now, I think this actually looks a lot better. Even if you do no color grading and you upload this straight to YouTube, it's still going to look really good. And I think it looks even better than the default settings. I am gonna color grade the A7S III to the best that I can, and then I'm gonna try and match the ZV-1 to that look. To make this a bit more fair, I'm gonna use the Tamron 28 to 70 f 2.8 lens, which is about the same focal length that you are getting with the ZV-1 with this this lens on the camera. However, I'm not gonna shoot at f2.8 on that Tamron lens because I want the depth of field to be pretty similar, so I'm gonna step down the lens so we get a similar shot. As you check out this test footage, let me know in the comments before you get to the end of the video which one you think camera A was and which one you think camera B was. Okay, it's time for the final results. If you have not commented yet, pause the video, go comment, and then hit play. Camera A was the Z a7S III. And then camera B was the ZV-1. For me, one of the biggest differences between these two cameras was the dynamic range. You could really see a lot more in the highlights and the shadows on the A7S III, whereas on the ZV-1, we just didn't get a lot of that detail that was in the highlights or in the shadows. We still got a lot of detail, but just not as much as the A7S III. Now, as far as color goes, both cameras are fantastic. They both have beautiful colors just straight out of the camera. You're gonna get a nice image out of it. But if I am going to nitpick the A7S III 
definitely had better colors and just more beautiful, rich colors in the image than the ZV-1. Overall, I just like the image better on our expensive camera versus our cheap camera. However, the ZV-1 held up really, really well to our expensive camera. And honestly, I was really surprised. For just a fraction of the price, I was really surprised the image quality that you could get out of this camera. Now, if you're just looking to do YouTube videos, whether it's vlogs or sit down videos like this, you can definitely skip on the A7S III and pick up a ZV-1. You're still gonna get 4K video recording and you get amazing colors and a great video quality out of the camera. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but honestly, the A7S III is a fantastic camera. It's probably the best camera that I've ever used, but it's very, very expensive. And for YouTube videos just like this, where you're sitting down talking to the camera, the ZV-1 does the job and it looks beautiful for a fraction of the price. And I even shot this video all using the Sony ZV-1. Click on the screen to check out our ZV-1 playlist with our review, tutorials, best accessories, and more. I'll see you guys in the next video.